hello everyone this is like motivate um, in this video I'm going to show you how to redraw from your Binance the right way okay so you shouldn't be on Binance light okay because with Binance light I don't know why they don't allow you to sell your asset at the market price so I want to redraw $28 and it's showing me 12,000 naira, which shouldn't be should be about 22,000 error. So all you just need to do is to click the three buttons there and click on Binance Pro. And just coming to this Binance Pro right there, once you click on that icon, you go down and look for P2P. So P2P trade. And now this is people who are ready to buy your asset at market price, okay? based on whatever currency you have so i am selling usdt so this is the list for people who have usdt to sell at the market price okay so all i just need to do is to click the filter button right there and then um, click the expected as amount that's like the average amount of which i want so it filters for me and then i just look for someone who is good to go based on his transaction record history so many people have 93 percent and what have you so i just picked one person right right there with a 90 plus um success rate and then binance has my account number okay so i just put in the usdt that i want to sell which is 28 and you see the equivalent line is over twenty thousand error right there you know and then i'm ready to go and that's all basically and so you just expect to receive payment in the expected time so one other thing that you should know is, is that well this is a selling selling video so it might not really matter but it does matter when you're buying because people who are selling or buying particularly they have some terms like send only to this account number don't add cobalt when you're sending don't use crypto related terms and all of that okay but me that um I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sell my asset i'm not buying i think and Binance recommending this person um the person has a term that only you pay accounts but um if for any reason um i i didn't do well by sending to pay when i shouldn't set to pay then i will appeal okay and if it's the other way around maybe the person has sent the money to me and I refuse to, let's say, release it in a buying situation. The person to also appeal. So all I just do is just wait for the calm down. And even if the calm down is done, and maybe the person is not online and all of that, um, my asset comes back to me. Okay. So that's what's all about, basically and um i was hearing myself on feedback that's why i was breaking through this call so i'll just fast forward to you when i receive the money and then i will show you how to um release the money or confirm the payment okay so that your asset can be released to the person so at this point i've received the payment and um it's so unnecessary to type this that I have received the payment because the person knows he has sent the payment, but I was so excited to receive the payment. Um because I wasn't so sure the implications of me using GT Bank. Okay, yes, that's the payment right there. And the person saying only OPA bank. Okay, so I was so I was so excited to see that I received the payment anyway. Because OPA Bank can actually send to GT Bank. It's no big deal. Okay, so you just want to come here. I just want to click on that showing that you received the payment and everything is okay and then just want to indicate that you received the payment 
so on receiving the payment you just verify um using uh, your verification code i prefer to use my phone number so be nice to just send me the verification code um to my phone quickly and then i just impute it and then i send it so i'm just telling pinas hey everything is okay i received the payment and um you can um release my assets to the person okay so like i was saying before if for any reason like um the person i send the money and i refuse to release the assets the person would appeal okay and if Binance does his own verification and see that I'm trying to run away with their money, they'll somehow try and um, either freeze my asset, freeze my account, or what have you. But P2P is risky, like I must mention, is risky because you're dealing with individuals that you you do not see and you do not know. Okay, but um, this is what I've been using and I've used it a lot and I've never had an issue. So hope this was helpful. Helpful. <laughs> Bye.